Johnson and Wales University. A unique, world-class curriculum that stays on top of global trends. It prepares me to explore the entire expanding range of culinary and food service careers around the world. Four campuses, Providence, Miami, Denver, and Charlotte, and students from all 50 states and nearly 100 countries. The College of Culinary Arts combines a solid foundation in the art and craft of cooking with business skills, science and nutrition, leadership opportunities, and global citizenship. Johnson & Wales University prepares students for success in the ever-growing range of culinary and food service careers. We do this through our unique curriculum, industry connections, and world-class faculty. We start with the foundation of honing our craft and demonstrating proficiency in a variety of skills. Then, we dive deeper into each technical area. Mastering the disciplines in specialized industry labs with the latest equipment. When you go back in history about cooking and the profession as a, a chef or a cook, the craft has for centuries been the core of education. In traditional setting in Europe, it was apprenticeship that taught you the how-to, the how to use your knives, how to cook certain ingredients, how to identify the ingredients, how to use them, the traditional classical approach to the cooking methods, all of that is contained in the craft of culinary education. Very, very important. You cannot be successful without that. But when you take the craft and then translate that into our profession, it's a natural sequence that you look at the art of culinary. The craft is the foundation, and then the artistry really speaks to the passion of the individual that has gone into this industry and this profession. The aesthetics, the artistry of food, adds another dimension to the JWU experience. We get to test our skills on the global stage, at national and international competitions, where we often take home gold and silver awards. You know, competitions in general, it pushes the professional, whether student or instructor, to their utmost. It helps them better understand the medium. So we basically have the opportunity every four years to send a group of students as well as faculty to go to ICA, which is also known as the Culinary Olympics. And our success rate has been incredible. We've had students placed within silver and gold medal rankings as well as faculty. Johnson & Wales also teaches us the increasingly important role that nutrition plays in the development of delicious but healthier food options. At Johnson Wales University, we have a program called Culinary Nutrition. It's the only program like it in the world. What our students basically get is a foundation in culinary arts, theory of nutrition, nutritional food science, and then we kind of pull them all together and we create food that meets the nutritional needs of people, uh, as well as being beautifully plated, beautifully formed, beautifully cooked food. Food and health go hand in hand. Whether we are creating nutritional menus for athletes, spas, hospitals, or schools. What's unique about our program is that it is a uh, part of what is called a four-year didactic approved program by the American uh, Society of Nutrition and Dietetics. And after they graduate, they can be eligible to do an internship to become a registered dietitian. So it's very exciting. Johnson & Wales has combined the areas of nutrition and wellness with medicine through its groundbreaking collaboration with Tulane University. This collaboration between Johnson Wales University and Tulane University School of Medicine uh, affords the first opportunity for permanent, long-lasting, um, uh, integrated curriculum of diet, nutrition, and medicine that can really address the problems that are facing future culinarians, but also future physicians. When you bring all those people together with the goal that you're gonna help medical students, uh, future physicians, and you're gonna help future culinarians think differently about food, diet, and nutrition, that's the goal. So uh, having Johnson Wales as, uh, as a collaborator in this has been amazing, just incredible. Culinary science at Johnson & Wales also includes modernist cuisine, 
a revolutionary area of food preparation, presentation and storage that keeps us at the leading edge. At Johnson Wells, we are very keen to introduce the idea of modernist cooking into our curriculum. We are also very fortunate to have engaged Chris Young, the co-author of Modernist Cuisine, to work with us with our faculty and train them and consult with them into developing the skill levels needed at the right level to introduce that technique and that approach, that scientific approach to our students. And I think a deep appreciation for the science of cooking is going to enable us to be more creative and more innovative as chefs. I think it's going to allow our students to redefine what it means to be a chef in the 21st century. Mastering the art and craft of cooking is just the foundation. It's vital that today's food service professionals have business, management, and critical thinking skills. We develop qualities that allow us to excel in the back and front of the house, or to start an entrepreneurial venture. When we look at a well-rounded uh, professional in the industry, uh, one thing that we instill in the students is to make sure they have understanding of back of the house as well as front of the house. One of the things besides understanding the basic concepts of accounting and management and leadership is a capstone um, environment in which they're going to take those skills that we've had in prerequisite courses and let them actually run the facility themselves. Thus, um, a restaurant setting such as our Bistro 61 that we actually have on campus. There are so many ways to get experience and develop leadership skills, both through national organizations and student clubs on campus. So for Senate, I personally, as a senator, have spoken in front of a lot of people that I would not have spoken to before, like the president of the university. After being a part of Senate for the whole year, I'm definitely more used to speaking in front of people um, that are a little bit higher up in ranking. So they definitely help you with your leadership skills. Clubs provide opportunities for students to sharpen their culinary skills and artistry, as well as develop community and leadership skills. We also have opportunities to learn about cuisine and culture through international internships and exchange programs. It was really important for me to intern outside of the U.S. because I wanted a different experience from just what I knew from Denver, Colorado. Marina Bay Sands is an absolute landmark for this part of the world and it's helped me learn some local desserts, some different methods of production, and to work with a variety of cultures just within one kitchen itself. We can gain international experience in countries like Singapore, Switzerland, France, Portugal, Italy, Peru, Germany, and Ireland. We are confident that together with our National CET Institute at Sunrise Global Chef Academy, an integrated mix of our WSQ training and Johnson and Wales University's education will equip our F&B professionals with the necessary skills and knowledge to bring our tourism and F&B industry to greater heights. Well, at Marina Bay Sands, uh, we have a widespread internship program. This combination of hands-on experience coupled with formal education, I think, is the way that you can progress more, more quickly in your career, have a deeper knowledge and understanding uh, of how the business works, how you can serve the customer. I am proud of the education we offer to each and every culinarian to interact with our faculty, with professionals, and students around the world. A Johnson & Wales culinary education is truly a unique mixture of craft, art, science, nutrition, leadership and management, and global citizenship. Learn more at jwu.edu culinary.